Hey everybody. Um, so I want to show you a uh, a pretty cool script I put together. I'm pretty pumped for it because um, I just finished it. Um, I still have to work through a, a few things. Um, I still have to do some testing and, and um, um, getting some other um, items kind of filled in. But um, but the the most important part was just getting you know um a few inputs um out outlined and if you haven't seen uh, my, my previous videos kind of talking about this uh the idea is that you can use this uh project startup form to initiate um, um a number of steps so um somebody's gonna take this bim execution plan they're gonna fill in uh, a variety of information like um project team, uh, project number, project uh, uh, name and address. And then when they fill that information in, we can you know take that information and store it into a SQL database or some type of an Excel document. Uh, I think that's what I showed uh, in a earlier video. But currently in this one, um, knowing that I already can take that information and dump it into SQL or a, um, a CSV, um, I was mainly focusing on creating uh, the app, and I wanted the app to flip between uh, pages. Uh, I thought that was too hard to um, complete, but then I realized I needed to do that because of the complexity of it. Um, so I went back and then worked on um, how, how the heck do I get those variables out? of the classes and then be able to then um, take those variable names such as the project number and then put that into the API request that I'll send to BIM 360 to automatically create a project. Um, so when somebody fills in project number, it creates a variable in a class and then I need, or well, a method that's in a class and I need to get that variable out somehow. Um, I, it was weird, but all I ended up having to do was literally put self before it, um, which was strangely easy, um, and something I didn't, you know, um, do for three days of just a headache trying to figure this out. Um, I'll dive a little bit more deeper into how I actually built this script. Um, I want to get everything hashed out and everything kind of done. I'm going to go back and kind of work through it. And then I'll, I'll create some videos, um, from start to finish, uh, just showing you how to set it all up and then, um, go from there. I may even start, um, you know, with, uh, the API stuff first. So setting up the forge API, setting it up in BIM 360 so that you have access to your own account and then and then we'll jump into this um, Python script and then uh, knock out the uh, the GUI that we're going to use to um, uh, get those get that information get those parameters that we'll use to create the BIM 360 project and then also store that information um, I can't show too much of this because or too much of the script itself and I don't think it'll be very um, very informative so but uh some of the api stuff kind of links um things that are specific to the bim 360 account that i can't necessarily share into the forge stuff um but i'm going to try in future videos to see if i could get a testing um just a like a, a free version of BIM 360 and uh, also a free version of uh, Forge or a 30 day trial. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do that. So I'll figure that out when that time comes. But for now, um, this works uh, pretty good. And to give you an idea, when I, um, I launched this, so it's already open. So I'm going to go down here and grab uh, the the GUI and you can see it's not pretty yet and I'm still working on it. But, um, the main thing I wanted to know, I wanted to be able to do was simply, uh, go in and, uh, put in parameters, store those parameters so that I can then, uh, update the, uh, create the Ben 360 project and then also update the CSV or SQL server. And so, um, so, I focused mainly on these, uh, and I started with just these two parameters. 
And <clears throat> if if I showed you the API stuff, it has just one API, like a really long string that gets uh, sent to uh, the the um, uh, to Forge as a uh, as a uh, post request, um, so that I can create a new project. And what I did was um, instead of uh, you know, leaving it as is, which was project equals, you know, or project name equals something. I instead took the variable that is being created when somebody uh, input inputs it into uh, this project number field. And then I just do, you know, string uh, plus that variable plus the other string or, and then uh, plus again to add the project name and then plus the rest of the string, which then gives me the full string that, um, I need I need to send as a request uh, to the API uh, or the Forge API, um, so somebody can fill this in and simply uh, click this print. Well, currently it says print, but in the future I'll probably say done or something. Um, this button here allows them to go back to the first page. Um, in the first page, all it has on it is some um, uh, company specific stuff just about um, how the document works and, and what it's used for. Um, but by clicking this button, you can switch back and forth between them. Uh, so I've already ran this, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And then down here, um, I've done two things. When I click the print button, what it does is it returns the um, values I put in as a list. So you can see 10 um, and then dash 000. zero, zero. And then um, comma, uh, the next uh, variable is from start, uh, from startup form. And then T1 was just something I used to call it as, you know, um, test one. And then uh, if I show you the BIM 360, we can see that it uh, was created. So we can see from startup form T1. So it was created, it's up there. Um, and it was a matter of seconds. And then as soon as I close the script, it returns um, uh, all of this stuff, which is just a, it's, re, it's when you make the API request, it gives you a response. It uh, returns a response from the, uh, from Forge. And you can look a little bit more into that on the Forge documentation. Um, but it will respond with this and it essentially is telling you that, um, and I think it's like code 200, but it, you know, it responds with code 200 and then the, uh, the, the Java or whatever it's called, um, this little bit. And it's pretty much telling you, Hey, it succeeded. It, it went up there and, and wrote the, um, the, uh, it created the project. Uh, there's a few things I have to hide on here, which is the account ID and, uh, the, Project ID. Uh, I, f I, f I it, just to be uh, you know cautious. I just wanted to to hide those values, but there um, the account ID ties directly to your BIM 360 hub. So if you have a company hub, you'll you can look um, up at the browser, and it should have an account ID on there, and it's the same no matter what project you go to. The account ID is just at all, you know, it's the account, the BIM 360 account you're using. Um, the project ID is specific to the project um, itself. So I was hoping, and, um, you know, when I get this more developed, that when I write to the SQL server, I'm going to use that uh, re project ID uh, response as a, um, as a uh, index, or like if I was to create a, uh, a, a dictionary, you know, use those as the, the key values uh, for the uh, dictionary because um, they're always unique and they pertain, spe you know, to specific projects. Um, so uh, this is what I got so far. Um, like I said, I'll dive a little bit deeper into the code itself. And um, the goal is to share pretty much everything that I've done. Um, I'm not doing anything special. Uh, and it, uh, it did take me a little bit to get uh, the hang of what I needed to do. Um, but I will share everything. And I'll show you the resources that, um, that I used. Uh, there was a few that I used the most. Uh, some are paid, which is some LinkedIn courses. But um, you don't even have to touch those because mainly they were just covering a lot of the basic stuff. Um, really easy things that you can see on the TK enter website. And, uh, when you, when you see this script, you can just simply take, 
Um, for example, some of the some of the labels down here, like if we go and look at the uh, startup or page one, I have some uh, um, entries or yeah entries so that somebody can enter and value. So this one's the project number field. And, uh, you know, there's some simple things like with, uh, there's text variables and you can simply search like all the different, um, things that you can do with that entry, um, uh, widget same with, uh, like labels. You can do a lot of different things with, them. uh, check boxes. There's, you know, a variety of different things that you can do with them. Uh, like when you're packing it, you can add a pad, um, in the, uh, Y or X direction, which will just move it away from like the other um, widgets that are uh, above it or to the right of it. Um, you know, so there's a variety of things like that. Uh, so I'll share all the, that with you. You know, um, there was a, 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 I was on Stack Overflow quite a bit. I would say, you know, definitely check that out. There's a, there's some great posts. Um, I think uh, Brian Oakley, uh, that's who I saw the most. Um, on Stack Overflow, um, that was replying to people's questions. He seems to know quite a bit about this stuff. Um, so I definitely recommend checking his stuff out and just getting out on Stack Overflow and looking for his stuff. Um, because a lot of what I've done in here, I was kind of learning from him and replies, uh, in those Stack Overflow, Stack Overflow, uh, questions. Um, so hopefully this was help, helpful. Hopefully this, you know, might give you some ideas of things that you want to do. Um, when I share this, I'd love to see, you know, what you get out of it and what you turn it into. Um, it'll be totally free when I post it. I'll post it up on my GitHub. Um, I'll probably be doing videos and periodically updating the GitHub with the uh, code. Um, but uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at all. Um, if you're doing this already and just want to know, you, you know, just, you know, reach out to me and ask me um, those specific questions. I'll gladly help you out if you're in the middle of doing this and you're stuck. Um, definitely reach out if, if, if you got anything. Um, but thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.